I apologize for having no editing on this video, but Kendrick just dropped again, and I didn't even get a chance to get home. This song is called Not Like Us, and this man flamed up Drake on a mustard beat. So he dropped a club banger because all of the fans that were dissing him and saying that he was losing the battle was saying that he didn't make hits for the club. Okay, now he dropped one. Like That was already a hit for the club, but the problem people have with that is it wasn't Kendrick's song. He was just a feature, just a verse, yada, 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 whatever you want to say. So that's that. Now he dropped Not Like Us, which is a full club banger, full club banger. And he tricked everybody because he started off with a soul sample again. So it sounded like he was going to come in with another boom bap, East Coast, hard hitting drum vibe, Alchemist joint again, or, you know, the Taylor Swift guys that produced the last one. But it dropped into a straight club banger. And what's even more wild is that Rick Ross is at Dre's right now in Las Vegas. And this man already has a song being spun in the club right now. BBL Drizzy, I'm at the pool party. And they just called you a petty. You a trouble? They backed it up at the party. Let me just break down some of these lyrics so you guys can hear this. Oh, so... I'm not gonna do this in order because I don't have time to edit and do everything like I'm telling you guys, but I will just break down lyrics as they come across my face. So Kendrick told him that he goes to Atlanta for the purpose of colonizing off of other artists like Future. Future gave him the club. He's saying that the club started rocking with him when the club wasn't vibing with him for a while. Then he went to Lil Baby to get his you know whole swag up and Young Thug told him that he could be slime and that Quavo told him he was from the North and also that 2 Chainz told him that he was good and Kendrick said, nah, you ain't good. So that's a line right there where he's just like calling out everybody that possibly could be supporting this man still, even though Future was with Kendrick on the last one like that. He also confirmed that there is more down the pipeline. He said, rabbit hole is still deep. I can go farther, I promise. He's telling Drake, Stop it. You're not going to win. Just stop now. You're not going to win this beef. It's not going to happen. Academics, what do you have to say about this? I watched Academics live and this man looked like he'd seen a ghost because for the first couple minutes of listening to Kendrick's tra track, he didn't even say a word. And normally, you know, this nigga, mile a minute, always has something to say. If it was Drake's record on, he'd have something to say. I have something to say about all records. Drake, Kendrick, Future, Rick Ross, I don't care. If it's a record, I want to hear it. I like all of the artists. But I feel like Kendrick is the better rapper, the better battle rapper, and the man is the culture. He understands what to deliver. He knows what to bring. The boy is the boy, though, because he knows how to deliver hit records. We get different flavors. There's different flavors of ice cream. You might like vanilla. I might like strawberry. Doesn't matter. But the music is fire. We're loving it, guys. All right, let's see what else he had to say about this. Oh, he also said, I'm going to pass on your body. I'm John Stockton. He is calling this boy, this man, Drake, Carl Malone. And we know what type of allegations Carl Malone has. Oh, man. Academics, how do you feel about this? That every time you're in the middle of your stream, Kendrick times his drop while you're trying to stream. How unfortunate is that? Oh man, let's see. Oh, and also you got to think about it, that the song that he originally dissed Drake on was called Like That. And now this one is called Not Like Us. You know he intentionally did that. Even though it's a club banger, this man intentionally put it that way so you knew what to expect. This man also told him, he said, why you back down like a bitch? Are you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. The chord is a minor. Referencing that this man is a pedophile. I don't know if it's true. And I really, really hope it's not true because I do truly enjoy Drake's music. I have 73 of this man's songs in my Spotify playlist, okay? I am a Drake fan. I am a Kendrick fan. I'm both fans. But I love this discourse. This is real rap. This is real beef. This is real battling. We don't get this often. So I'm going to relish it at every point, every turn. Know that. Yeah. And... Just to run back off of the point where he was talking about the artist that Drake goes in behind and tries to keep his relevance and culture, this man said it this way. He said, you run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. You're not a colony, you a fucking colonizer. Drizzy's culture card is in question. 
That's one thing that Kendrick's theme is throughout this dis throughout these disses and this beef is that Drake's culture is not real culture. He's saying it's culture vulture-ish. Man, 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 man. It's a lot to unpack here. Oh, this is one of the biggest things here. And this is especially for the West Coast. He said, you think the Bay going to let you disrespect Pac? I think the Oakland show going to be your last stop. The Oakland show is going to be his last stop. If the Bay is really offended about Drake using that AI track of Tupac, it's going to get real funky. Because if you know anything about when Biggie pulled up to the Bay, when him and E-40 had beef, Biggie almost died in the vehicle that he pulled up to the concert in because E-40 had got disrespected by him. E-40's people had him set up. They had to get E-40 on the phone to be able to get Biggie to be able to go in and perform his concert and be able to be comfortable. Just imagine if Pac is seen as being disrespected, it could get funky. And one that's been cracking me up too is Lil Duval has been full on Kendrick. I thought he would have been on Drake's side, but he's been full blown Kendrick every song and I'm here for it. Lil Duval over here dying, smoking his blunts. Man, this is entertainment. It's entertainment, y'all. Loving it in every twist and turn. Oh, he even called out Baca, Party Next Door, and just said that they're all pedophiles, bro. Like these, accus these accusations are heavy. This man's put pins on Drake's house. He put 13 pins. And if you know anything about Sex Offender app, they put a pin on a location where the sex offender has been registered in a specific location. They have to register when they're in any county. Like this man is coming for the whole team. Lord have mercy. Kendrick also accused Drake of having sex with Lil Wayne's girlfriend or woman. And then this was at the time when Wayne was in jail. So when Wayne got out, he's saying he apologized by getting a tattoo of Wayne on the back of his arm to apologize to this man for going behind his back with his chick. Like, ooh, these allegations is getting crazy. This rabbit hole's getting dark. Kendrick dropped three diss tracks in 48 hour time span. This man has heard everything that the people are saying about him. People are saying that he takes too long to release music. He took two weeks to respond to Drake. This man said, oh, you guys want a diss track? Here's one. Oh, you want another diss track? Here's two. Oh, you want another diss track? Here's three. What else do you guys want from him? Everything that you are debunking this man's skills about, he has answered the bell. This man has answered the call. He's not afraid of anything that there's being thrown at him. Everything that's coming out song-wise, everything that people are saying in the comments, Kendrick is answering the bell. He said he's here for it. He's holding down the whole coast, West Coast, plus whoever else that he supports. But bro, like, I don't know what else you could say. You can't say 20 v one. This man's one one now is one on one. They're both even. What do you want from them? Oh, and then they add salt into the wound. He had himself say, oh, V ho, oh, V ho. And then he had the girls in the background chant, oh, V ho, oh, V ho. You already know that part is going to go viral in the clubs. Viral in the clubs. Thanks, Splashers, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. When I get back home, I'm going to do an updated version of this video because I know this is, you know, not my normal. But I wanted you guys to hear this and feel the passion of what I was hearing and what this inspired. I think I've ran this record, Not Like Us, at least 40 times since I just heard it drop. Okay? Check out my other videos. See you guys later.